Let's take a look at the mole ratios for H2Cl2 and HCl in this equation here. The first thing we need to do with mole ratios, we need to balance the equation. And all we need to do here is put a two in front of the HCl. We can consider there to be a one in front of the H2 and the Cl2 as well. And this is our balanced equation. And we'll use this to find our mole ratios for H2, Cl2, and HCl. We could say H2 to Cl2 is just a one to one ratio, just looking at the coefficients there. Or we could say that Cl2 to HCl, that's a one to two ratio. And then we can use these ratios to solve stoichiometry problems. The key is the ratios, they come from the balanced equations. That's a big reason we balance chemical equations. So let's say for example, we had 0.32 moles of H2, just a number I made up for the problem. And I wanna know how many moles, call it X, of HCl are produced if we have enough Cl2 in our reaction here. So one way to do it is look at the ratio, one to two. I'm just doubling this one here to two. So I just double this, I'll get 0.64 moles of HCl. And then if I needed grams, I could just change moles to grams. The other way to do is just set it up like this. Then we just cross multiply and solve for X. So we have one X equals two times 0.32, that's 0.64. Same thing we got before. The way your teacher probably wants you to do it though is with conversion factors. Let's try that. So we start out with our 0.32 moles, just something we made up for the problem of H2. And then we have our conversion factor. And we get this conversion factor here from the balanced equation. So I have two moles of HCl for every one mole of H2. I put the one mole of H2 on the bottom because when I multiply and then divide, those cancel out. I'm left with moles of HCl. That's what I want. And we end up with the same answer. 0.32 times two moles, 0.64 moles of HCl. So that's the same thing we got before. That's how you use mole ratios with H2, Cl2, and HCl here. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.